This is Almer with you until midnight tonight. This is The Rock Show, and I have a band with me in the studio. I have two members from Expiration of a Young Man, and now they are a post-rock slash instrumental band. Uh, they recently released a their debut EP, Grey Entropy, on June the 6th, uh, 2019, obviously, which has five soundtracks. They've been recognized by African Metal Magazine in their monthly rank as one of the top 10 bands in Africa for June and July back-to-back. Uh, their first music video, Debate, with a devil whether to die or not has been screened at in uh, Ayam Beirut El Cinemaia uh, Arab Film Festival band members include Karim Adil bass which we have in the studio or who we have in the studio uh, Hussein Mohammed on guitar Hossam Ayman on drums Shadi Shawarib on keys who we have as well in the studio hey guys how are you doing very good thank awesome. you awesome awesome good <laughs> okay so I have a couple of questions uh, but before I ask them actually okay. uh, first off we already have a fan Oh, send in just just before even we ask anything. Uh, number ending with six one seven SMS in. They sent in. Hey Shetty, this is one of your biggest fans. I am so proud of you and wanted to tell you we jam together, man. We jam together. <laughs> That's it. But he he or she didn't specify their name. Uh, their number ending uh, ends with six one seven. If you know, I know. Uh, you think? <laughs> <laughs> we have another uh, person who sent in on Twitter. Rua, thank you very much for tuning in. And on Facebook, we have a couple of people. We have uh, Dina and three others. A big shout out to them. We have Omnia. We have Muhammad. We have Muhannad G and Abdul Menam as well. Big shout out to you guys. Okay, so the first question that I want to ask you, Karim. Because mm-hmm. I'm gonna go from right to left. Right. The first question is, how did the band form up? How did you guys meet? All right. So uh, you know, back in the days, uh, you know, uh, when I, back in the days? Yeah, that was in that 2016. 16. Se- okay. 17. Uh, 17. Fact, okay. I, I cannot remember. Exactly. <laughs> so <laughs> 2017, uh, 2016. Exactly. Okay. So uh, I've always wanted to have like a post rock band and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Since I, you know, I have a big admirer with uh, Mugwai. The okay. instrumental band. So uh, uh, me and Chawarib uh, also, uh, you know, we, we, we used to be uh, or up until now. We are friends. <laughs> so uh, you know, we met up. We uh, you know uh, you know agreed to form a band, an mm-hmm. instrumental one. Uh, after that, I met Hossam and Hussein, and we already agreed that uh, an instrumental will be our you know our goal. Mm-hmm. But we went through many different experiences, such as you know the 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 funk. Till Period, yeah, yeah, uh-huh. exactly. a lot of, lot of, lot of uh, transitions that we already passed on, but uh, after that, we already agreed that that would be an instrumental band, post rock, whatever. But okay, yeah. Th- were there any changes, Shady, when it comes to the band? Were there like previous members, or you were all the same four throughout? We began with the same four, I guess, but uh, we had like an additional member, and yeah. then he couldn't continue. Yeah, okay. we were meant to be five, but then we uh, we ended up as four, and we are so happy with that. We are still four. Oh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I, I know the feeling. I, I know I know the other bands like keep losing a member or just adding a different one. I There's know. always that drama mixed in, so uh, you always want to avoid that. <laughs> um, yes. So another question that I have, since you've been all four the same four since, mm-hmm. um, Shady, how did the name come about? The expiration of a young man. Expiration of a young man. Should we tell him? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's well, okay, a bit we, dark right now. <laughs> yes. We, uh, it's pretty dark. It's fine. Like well, last week, or not last week, last time we had a band in here that were Medic. Mm-hmm. And they, it, it was simple enough. They said, like, we used a, music, a band name generator, and that <laughs> was the first name that came out. So uh, it wouldn't surprise me if it's, uh, it's uh, an interesting story. It's a story, none, nevertheless, that's mm-hmm. important to tell. So Expiration of a Young Man, how did that come to be? Okay, expiration of a young man. Well, that was meant to be disappearance of a young man, but we thought expiration would mean a lot better okay. uh, to our meaning, which we are four um, men. We're working. Mm-hmm. We're like we're jammed in work all the time. We really t- give the time to do uh, jam and express our yeah, yeah yeah and concentrate on music. So we basically thought that expiration of a young man would mean like the 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 people who are in our age or in our generation have lost their identity just among the work and among all this uh, corporate life so that was that was the meaning of it, of expiration of a young man and, and so on we started to make songs with you know the titles that you've seen yeah. the, the uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna get to that in a few <laughs> okay. <minutes>. okay okay <laughs> so uh, another question that I have this one's goes and go to Kareem um, the logo all right 
a lot of a lot of lines there. Yeah. If if you ever seen the lo- their logo, I'm gonna we're gonna post it on our social media as well, so you can s- see it yourself. All but right. where did that come from? <laughs> 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 because it looks like somebody was just sketching, and it ended up like that. Right. You were bored at like a. Uh, I'm a bit exposed, exposed right now. Yes. You're exposed. <laughs> <laughs> exposed right now. Yes. Okay. So, uh, th- you know the, the 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 main frame itself for the logo. You know it has like many different meanings, uh, such as life okay. itself. And I intended to have these kind of small few, squares, yeah, little triangles <laughs> <laughs> in the middle to be as a as a maze that we're okay. living. But uh, as a matter of fact, I believe that it didn't you know come so obvious with uh, that deep <laughs> meaning. <laughs> like, uh, You're the one who I actually am. drew it. You yeah, it? but we we yes. already thought about you know the same idea. But uh, after that, painter was that's an it. A. That, that <laughs> 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 okay, fair enough. Um, so um, the f- the names of the songs mm-hmm. they are very very grim. Now let, let me first get them in front of me in this in the screen. Expiration. Here we go. We have debating with the devil whether to die or not. We got, did you see the meeting between the two kings? And we have uh, Grey Entropy and High on the Geiger Counter and Rejoice, the city is burning. So tell me <laughs> the concept <laughs> why these names. Now, High on the Geiger Counter, it sounds like a Chernobyl reference. Yes. That Okay, I got one for one. Yeah. <laughs> Let me try if I can get them all. Let's see. Okay. Uh, debating whether uh, with the devil whether to die or not, it sounds like Dante for some reason. Do you know who Dante is? You get, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The Divine Comedy. Exactly. <laughs> okay. So, uh, uh, one and a half, I'll say. Okay. <laughs> Did You're you see close. the meeting between the two kings? Now, this can go anywhere. So, I'm not going to try and attempt that one. I'm going to leave you with the Great Entropy to explain that part. And rejoice, the city is burning. I'm going to say that's Rome and Nero is burning Rome. Um, you're kind of close for you. Yeah. Get, you get you get half a mark. I know my history. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, we get two from you and two from you. Okay, so let's go with Kareem first. Which ones would you like to uh, to explain? Um, did you see the did meeting? You see the meeting the yes. Kings. So, <laughs> who are uh, the two kings, and uh, did I see them <clears> or not? We, we we just I was uh, you know uh, reading a book for Shakespeare. Okay. And uh, I found this quote. Okay. Uh, between uh, two farmers who were just like uh, talking about uh, some kind of uh, you know actions happen uh, between war between two uh, two, two kingdoms uh, yeah two kingdoms exactly mm-hmm. and uh, you know someone was wondering have you seen the, the the meeting between the two kings after the war and uh, you it know clicked. we got it from uh, this concept since we were just intended to have uh, like a song or a, or a track. We're gonna have to name it that. Exactly. Even, even if we don't have a song, we're just gonna have to. We we wanted to have like a kind of song that describes war and stuff like that, but uh, we found that that would be the most convenient name for for this track. Okay. Did you see the meeting? Shady, which one are you gonna explain? Um, rejoice the city. Oh no, let let me go with debating with the devil. Okay. Die or not. Okay, because um, uh, at that time I had like um. A very rough period of my life, we you know, as um, like emotionally unstable and stuff. So I was okay. kind of debating with myself uh, about, yeah, whether I should continue living my life or not. It's okay. it's a little bit it's dark, dark, but yeah. I know. <laughs> but uh, that that ended up with me just coming up with the with the with, the, with the tune oh, and the tune. Okay. Yes, and uh, we decided to name it to debating with the devil whether to die or not. We jammed about it together, and. Uh, it actually came up as the idea of just a man debating with himself whether he wants to live, to continue living or not. So it's right. kind of psychological on my side, kind of political on his uh, side, though. Yeah. <laughs> We're not getting into that. Okay. We're not getting into that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, gray entropy. Who do you want? Who wants it? C- can we can we share it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Okay. Well, entropy is is a term on thermodynamics. It's, um, I don't want to get too technical here, but it's it's usually the um, it's a number that increases whenever there is any energy exerted. Okay. And it's gray because it's uh, dark, not. Uh, it's not on good side or the bad side. It's just y- gray yes, area. Exactly. So it's a gray area that's representing the the the, the efforts that the people do. Um, for you know, for the for, for the rest of the life, for the for the rest of their youth, mm-hmm. they're exerting for no reason, for no effort, for no outcome. Okay. So that's a gray entropy. Okay. Yes. Karim, 
You're yeah. looking at me. Which one do you want? Uh, rejoice in the cities, bro. <laughs> sure. <laughs> because, because, you know, uh, most of the people w- w- would think that uh, it, it's all about some kind of the city is burning and some kind of, you know, uh, violence and stuff like that. Mm. But uh, when we were just thinking about this song, we kept like going through many, many, many different ideas. Mm-hmm. It took us like around a year. Like, yes. Yes, a year. Okay. A whole year. More just than like a year. Like, exactly. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> we're about to do this band because of this. Uh, because this, of this song. Play, yeah, just specifically. Just one song. Exactly. Okay. Uh, the shortest th- song in the album. <laughs> exactly. You know, it was like. Uh, but uh, we 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 just came up with the, with the, with this name uh, as a reference of the you struggle know, until you not essentially not like that, but uh, maybe because of some disaster would make some others happy. And okay. they just don't care about what's going on, uh, you know, as long as they're living their own life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. And, <laughs> and high on the Geiger counter is essentially Chernobyl or? It's not technically Chernobyl, so but it, it's kind of described. We, we needed some descriptive uh, song. Uh, that's why we, we usually have like a, this large title before we... Uh, before we make a song, because it's intru- instrumental, there's no lyrics, mm. so we have to be as descriptive as possible in the title. So High on the Geiger Counter usually describes life after a nuclear holocaust, if you if you would say. Okay. So, um, in so my you, head... you prepare sp- yourself before listening to the exact song. You just l- read that first and you get an idea of what to expect. That's exactly most mostly what happens. We, we, we discuss the title, we discuss how we see it, and then we start making tunes out of it. Okay. So we describe it from text. We translate it from text to music. That's what happens. Okay. And why no vocals? The fifth member, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> I no, think. no, no. I get, I, the, the, the other guy was a guitarist. So a guitarist we'll as well. Okay. So why no vocals? I believe vocals would be a little bit distracted, uh, distracting to our goal because we uh, we needed expressive music. Okay. We needed music to be understood without m- us having to say something. And so people honest, can can uh, essentially reflect their own uh, ideas in, exactly on, on the song itself. What what essentially what the songs um, makes them feel. Exactly. That's that's one of, one of the points. And second. I think none of us really wanted or even suggested from the beginning, from the very beginning, that anyone would write lyrics to that. Even when we agreed at some point that we would have like a vocal, mm-hmm. he'd be doing humming and just a choir, uh, basically. A okay. cappella stuff. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Okay, so if you can see the, p- you can listen to the paper here. That is the question. These are the questions that I have. So we talked about music and your album as well. So what is your musical inspiration? Who are the bands that influence you the most, personally, and with regards to the album? Okay. Should you begin? All right. All right. <laughs> okay, Karim. Uh, so I'm gonna start with the personal stuff. Okay. Yeah, because uh, each and every one of us has his own you favorite know, taste, band. Yeah, and you know it's very very genre. Genre as well. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Exactly. So for me, uh, I might be you know inspired the most with uh, instrumental stuff. Okay. So, you know, especially the uh, doom and. Uh, Post rock stuff. Okay. Shawareb, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, might be interested in uh, the cinematic and. We're gonna leave Shawareb. Let's him explain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah Keep him part. to him. Just Give my part so, to me. So man. I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna get you the, c- the, 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 the main idea is that classical. Classical. Class- you're gonna go back as cl- far as classical. So which uh, band? Let drop a name. It's fine. Like Chopin, uh, Beethoven, and. Bach okay. And so Just that's kind of totally different <laughs> than exact- the music you're playing. Yeah, exactly. Because, you know, it might be like a kind of a reference that might mm-hmm. be, you know, an inspire us w- with, a, with a new idea okay. for any of our tracks. Okay. So we're, we don't have, you know, something specific. Okay. And you, Shady? Well, my personal background, um, I basically take most of my uh, composition from Tool. I'm okay. inspired by Tool so much. Uh, uh, they can't see him in right now. One of our people recording right now behind the scenes is Tori, and he is he adores Tool. <laughs> we're so gonna talk, man. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna you're gonna have to talk afterwards. Yeah. So Tool, who else? All right, uh, Metallica. Obviously, um, I do have like a a, a big uh, fan base or, or like you know um, a database for like um, Metallica, Corn. Uh, Limp Bizkit, uh, tool. This is very interesting for me mm. because you're interested in the heavy stuff 
and you're the one playing keys. Yes. And he's interested in the classical stuff, and he's the one on bass. <laughs> yes, exactly. You know, that's supposed to be the other way around. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but it's very interesting because uh, everybody has their own, like, influence. You, you might get, like, certain aspects or certain um, flarings from classical music that you won't find in metal, and the other way goes mm. for you. Um, as for the album, as is there a certain uh, master? Um... No, we kind of, uh, we we kind of, you know, uh, compose everything together without without having any kind of reference. We want to, you know, be outside of the of the whole spectrum. Mm-hmm. Um, and even replying to your answer, that sometimes I uh, write bass lines, he writes key lines. Oh, okay. Uh, even the drummer writes guitar lines. So we we write for each other, and that's that's perfectly. Uh, that's very good as well. So you can um, like compose yourself as a whole group, not just individually. So you can help each other out, even if one like drops a ball or something. Exactly. Okay. So uh, which song is the hardest song to play? Oh. Uh, I would. I would depends. think. Depends. <laughs> which one? I think it's uh, Grey Entropy. I think, or is, is it Rejoice? The one that has the cello bow. Uh, on the bass? Yes, the Great Entropy is the easiest one to play. Uh, it's the, three, the easiest one. That is the easiest and the shortest one to play because... Uh, it's short. We kind of... <laughs> I, I, I think, I think you're, you're guessing that it's the hardest one because of the, the time signature that it's not yeah. in fours. Uh, but however, we, we did like that, that practice like a long time ago, <laughs> so we're not counting anymore. Okay. Uh, however, the hardest one to play for <clears throat> me, I, be, I guess it's debating with the devil because it has, it has a lot... Of uh, modulations, it has a lot and, of. Uh, uh, and the guy got cancer as well. I yes. Yeah. Well, right. listeners didn't see uh, yet the videos, but when you see the videos, you'll understand because when these guys came into our studios, they had twelve pedals, not just one, not just two, <laughs> twelve pedals. They counted. To <laughs> play them. No, no, no. I had the uh, the the equipment list. Okay. So like. One, one bass. Two, one guitar. Three, 12 pedals. So just, <laughs> just, just straight away. Okay, so uh, if you change anything in the album, what would you change? Um, you mean the ideas or tracks or names the, or whatever? Uh, like, I would have loved to play this differently. Or um, I didn't like that part of that song, so I'd change it in the future or anything like that. Do you have certain things like that you go through or... Yeah. Um, did that, for example, uh, that's why the album took so long to create because you were perfectionist and you had to tinker into every single detail uh, that it took so long? Or there's like, no, we, we played it. We already had like the, the perfect idea of what to do and we just executed it. Exactly. Well, it's, it's kind of in the middle because uh, we had uh, tracks that we needed to perfect as much as possible. Mm-hmm. And there are tracks that we we spent so much time on, uh, like Rejoice. We've mm-hmm. spent like more than a year mm-hmm. trying to perfect four minutes of music. Okay. So um, sometimes the, in the in the production phase, there's a problem with um, you know adding uh, another bass line or adding um, background pads in the in the background. Yeah. So sometimes uh, some lines got you know uh, wrote out of the script. Uh, when we were uh, producing the whole thing. So we would have done a lot, a lot different. I think in High on the Geiger Counter, things yeah. would have been a lot more dramatic in the in the end if we had a little bit more time, mm-hmm. I think. Okay. And e- even up until now, uh, when we were going for jamming or rehearsal, we might we play some, o- some, some of the songs in, the, you know, in a different Just way. Just change it. Yeah. Like a different uh, version of that same song. Exactly. Okay, so uh, this album was produced here in Egypt, right? Yes. And mix and master it here in Egypt because it sounds very well, very good, well done, essentially. Exactly, yes. So, yeah. Awesome. That's okay. all homemade uh, <laughs> stuff. Like Everything that. is homemade. <laughs> Even the keys are recorded in my house. Yeah. <laughs> Inside a closet, just closed so for the song, for the, yeah, the music. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <I> mean, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> if you would play with any band in the world or open for a band in the world, who would you choose? Oh, my God. That you know is mine. the toughest question. <laughs> you know mine, right? Karim already okay. has an answer locked. Perfect. You, you go first. Mugway. Mugway. Okay. I would play <laughs> with Tao. I would reside with Tool. Tool. Would, oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. In the background, just <laughs> smile. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Uh, do you have anything that you'd like to say to your fans listening at the moment? Because you got some, let me. Oh, I have a couple of messages. Uh, so, uh, of a young man, your first fan, Iman Saad, 
Mm-hmm. Uh, we have, uh, I would call you determination of a young man. You guys worked very hard for this, and you will be the best, uh, you will do best in the future. That's Islam Shawarib. So I would assume that your brother or your yes. brother? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, a lot of big fans already. There was somebody else on Facebook. Let me try and find them first. Um, what's up? That's it. Yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> uh, Welcome, welcome. Uh, you guys are awesome. So you got a lot of fans already. So what would you like to say to them? And if you have any plans for the future, what is it? Okay, we we... we cannot disclose much of the information just in the future. Just give us a sliver yes. of information. We're, we're kind of working on a new song. Okay. Uh, we're not sure yet if it's uh, an EP or a single. Okay. But uh, we're kind of working on a new song. Should we release the, yeah. the title? <laughs> no, no, no. No. <laughs> no, we can't do that. Okay, he okay. said no, I can't. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so you're working on something. Yes. You're working on a song for now, but hopefully it's going to be an album. Yes, in And sure. um, do we have an expected date? Uh, the, expect- the expected date would be, uh, I believe, next year. Next year, okay. Yes. And uh, your comments to your fans, what do you like to say? Well, well, I'd like to thank everyone who had been uh, supporting the band uh, just by listening, just by giving comments from the very beginning, even if they did not uh, listen to the final product yeah. even after two years they they listened they had to listen like other people um, much appreciated all the support and especially to my brother my brothers supported me so much on this album and thank you um, and noth- this is this is it I I say thank you to everyone who has been a fan for the band and you Karim um, my friends and family the already supported me very much and mm. uh, also everyone who already participated by even a comment to, yeah. to our to our final release so thank you thank you so much mm. um so a big shout out to a lot of people that were sending in at the moment let me just find them first because there's a lot uh the first one was to Nihel Isukari on your page uh wow my first time listening to your music guys and it's awesome that's first one. Thank you. And um, let's see what else. There is a uh, number ending with, uh, oh, it's actually Islam. Uh, they forgot to mention that they were using my guitars to rehearse Omar. Islam. Okay. <laughs> That's Thank your you. brother again, I would Thanks, assume. Thanks, man. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for exposing us. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, so uh, um, you can go to our Facebook page and our Twitter page, so uh, facebook.com slash NileFM or at NileFM for Twitter, and you'll find the videos up for, uh, one of the videos up for Grey Entropy for these guys playing it live at our studios, and you can check it out there. You'll see how they perform, and uh, um, they're awesome, essentially. Okay? So check them out there as well. There was a person who sent a question, but I just want to find it. Here we go. Proud to be a fan of Expiration of a Young Man that is from Shwait Shaif Lairin on Twitter. On Twitter. <laughs> um, they, uh, they are the sickest post-rock band in the country. I am curious, though, as to why you made Debating with the Devil Whether to Die or Not music video the way it is. So I'm, I'm I'm assuming it's the the music video that was uh, that appeared at AM Beirut Cinema Art Film Festival. Exactly. Okay. So, how did that come to be? Okay, we have um, we have someone in um, who is actually a friend of us. Uh, okay. His name is Ali Tore. He's one of uh, he's a you know a filmmaker, uh, okay. an amateur filmmaker. He and he offered to uh, make a music video as uh, his part of his career and okay. as a service for us. And eventually, we ended up with uh, this music video, which is totally his idea. We we didn't give him any kind of um, restriction or okay. yeah. or any uh, limitation, yeah. and he he worked it out. And eventually, when we sub- submitted it to uh, I am Beirut, it was accepted. Okay, which was uh, awesome news for us for <laughs> us all. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so uh, another person sent in Mustafa Raslan on Twitter. I love their music. Even love them more when I knew uh, why they were no there were no vocals on the album. Wishing you guys one day uh, you will have a your own masterpiece. Something as Light of the Seven from G- in Game of Thrones. Ooh. Something utilizing physics. If you understand what I mean. So it's gonna be something. I'm going to leave that to you to figure out. All right. Okay. Uh, so one last time before you go, is there anything you'd like to say to everybody listening at the moment? Okay. Well, you can check out our album one more time. 
on so, your social media, of yes. course, yeah. you're going to be able to see it there. Yes, and you can stay tuned for any uh, news will be uploaded on our page, on our Facebook page. Okay. So. Expect an album or a song next year. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But you're going to keep... Slash... <laughs> slash... <laughs> what is it? Yes. Whenever it comes Late out. Late next year, maybe. <laughs> um, I have a question. Okay. An interesting one. Do you do other projects beside this one? So do you have like... Do you have this band as the post rock instrumental band, and you do uh, have another band? Even if you know, if it's uh, on your own, Karim, or on your own, Sherry. Mm-hmm. Either way, do you have another band that you perform something for, like in Arabic, or like a, an indie rock band, or anything like that? Yeah, uh, I believe that each and every one of us is uh, contributing in uh, his own, you know, uh, way. Yeah, uh, like for me, I'm uh, doing another project with uh, Hussein, the drummer. Mm-hmm. We call it uh, Lotta Lamia. It's <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's just like a matter of uh, funk music. Slapping it's in Arabic or in English? No, it doesn't have any any vocals. Any vocals? Okay, yeah. we're going to have to listen to that and yeah. see if we can bring you guys again. <laughs> okay. okay. And uh, there is an, another uh, folk indie slash many different genres as well. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, with with uh, a couple of my friends. Okay. You're just also contributing in, you know, in order to get, yeah. But mm-hmm. does, that has vocals, but we're just like uh, testing it out, experiencing it. Exactly, implementing the idea if, 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 I'm, if I'm a good vocal or not. So <laughs> <laughs> just like. And you, Shady? Okay, well, I do have, that's part of my job actually in the uh, in, uh, second part. I do work as a composer for uh, short films and, uh, and theater. Hans well, Zimmer. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I kind of don't like Hans Zimmer, <laughs> though. So. Uh, uh, who's the name of the guy from uh, Game of Thrones? Rajmin? I don't I, I'm going to search for it while you explain what I, you're doing. I, I, I don't watch Game of Thrones, really. I'm going to find the, the guy's name because he did a lot of uh, great stuff, not just for Game of Thrones. He did a lot, a lot of uh, music somewhere else I, as well. I do, I understand. I might, might Ramin Jawedi, if you heard of that name. He's a very good composer. I heard I heard his name, but I I only know the um, the the theme, which has um, I d- I'm I'm not really a big fan of. <laughs> of <laughs> it's okay. So <laughs> you you do your own thing, yeah. You, you compose your own music for yeah. movies and things like that. Yeah. Yes, and sometimes I I just I just do my own, like one man band albums. Um, all on your own. Yeah, all on my own, and just produce for like a, a play or like an amateur film or something like that, which is fun actually to be done. Yeah, it's it's kind of my career. Okay, and so you're essentially a composer. Yes. And you, Karim. Uh, for me, for. Uh, what do you do on your side? On the side, on what? What's your main job? Um, uh, I'm a Japanese translator. Oh wow! Okay, can you tell us something in Japanese? No, not right now. <laughs> I can I can say a few a few lines, I, even though like my I I have learned I did not learn Japanese. This is a small story. My father was trans uh, tra- 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 traveling to Japan, and uh, he wanted some k- keywords to use like hello, goodbye, where's the bathroom, yeah. things like that. Yes. And I ended up learning some of them, and he didn't learn <laughs> of them. He, he got his own translator and things like that. So konnichiwa, watashi no naimo amor this. That is, I think that means Hello. hi. Yeah. My name is Omar. Essentially, is yes, exactly. that's all I know. Yeah. <laughs> and okay. the funniest thing, what is the word for orange juice in Japanese? Oh my god, it's orange juice. <laughs> You're the Japanese it's translator, man. That's not me. Don't is. look at me. <laughs> it's orange I'm juice. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> the the they're funniest thing is me the next day. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> the funniest thing is that they're confused, and the actual answer is orange juice. So if you want to go to Japan, say orange juice. It's orange juice. But my boss <laughs> never asked okay, me about orange juice do, before. Do, do, do you know what the, what the meaning of uh, Madinat Nasr in... in <laughs> no. <laughs> Madinat on Nasr. Oh. <laughs> You're accepted, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so that is the time that I have for these guys. I'm going to continue on with, with until midnight tonight. Uh, we're going to start off with a song, again, uh, remembering James Hatfield from Metaka. Here's Whiskey in a Jar. <laughs> 